What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing today? Back with yet another video. One second. Are these lights better? Like, let me know in the description. I can't tell. Like, it's like a cool outline, but I don't know if it, like, draws focus away. On, off, on, off. Whatever, leave them off for now. So in today's video, I mean, as always, I've got a really cool project for you guys. So if any of you guys are familiar with the Green Lantern, actually, I'm, 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 gonna, put, I'm gonna throw some green on the theme of this build. Yes, the Green Lantern. So the thing he is best known for is having a superpower ring that allows him to create whatever he wants pretty much, like whatever he can imagine uh, using this ring. Here's a little clip. So from my understanding, whatever he can will to create, um, he can like bring to life using this ring. It has to be like recharged, actually similar to uh, the last like taser ring that I made had to be recharged. And obviously I can't make it like they did in the movies because that would involve basically magic at this point. Unfortunately, science is not up to that level yet. Today's technology, especially now with the technology I have, but we're gonna do the next best thing, and that is create a Green Lantern Edition laser ring. So as usual, I'm gonna walk you through the building process. Um, my plan right now is to just take a, one of those like high-powered pen lasers I've been using. I think I have like a 150 milliwatt like green laser. Obviously gotta use a green laser if we're doing the green lantern. So we are messing with lasers though. So there's an element of danger to this project as with most of my projects. What can I say? Like danger is my middle name. Actually laser is my middle name. Actually laser is my last name. I don't know where I was going with that. We're gonna be breaking out the laser goggles for this project. Always a fun time. I do have to give credit where credit is due. This idea came out of the comment section. Here's the person who commented it, uh, if I was able to find the exact one. If you have any really cool ideas you want, you want to see me make, uh, make sure you comment them either down below or over on my Instagram. Also, if you like and follow, I'll like go through the comments on the videos and like feature you guys there. So if that sounds interesting, uh, make sure you like and follow my Instagram down below. Should be a very fun build. Uh, making another superhero gadget, let's get to it.
we go guys, we finished up the Green Lantern ring. Uh, honestly, this build wasn't that difficult. All I did was uh, I took an ordinary like high powered pen laser um, and all I did was desolder the actual laser itself and just extended the wires out down to the actual laser circuit board and uh, battery uh, down to my wrist. Uh, maybe in a future build, like it might be possible to pack all of the components onto the ring itself. But yeah, for this version one, uh, we've got a wire leading down to our wrist that houses the components. But the important thing is um, that if you close your hand like this and make a fist, it looks just like a normal ring. Plus, if you go ahead and throw a long sleeve shirt or sweatshirt on over this, uh, no one's gonna be able to tell that you're wearing anything else like on your wrist. As you guys can see, it looks just like a normal ring. Okay, so how do you actually turn this on? Well, if you notice in the building process, I actually soldered on a button switch on the side right here. Um, so pretty much you have the ring on your hand. Uh, when you squeeze your fingers together, uh, your middle finger, your pinky finger, whichever one the button's on the side of, uh, when you squeeze them together, the button will decompress and that turns on the laser. Just like that. I'm not gonna shine this in my camera too much because that's how we broke the last one. Anyways, yeah, that's how we turn on the laser. Uh, again, along with the power, I also have the button wires going down here and I just kind of uh, soldered them onto the main switch. Um, so this switch still works down here. If I press that, laser goes on, but uh, I also have another switch up here so I can just single hand activate it. Just like that. So yeah, super simple Green Lantern ring. This device really didn't take me that long to make. Uh, again, just the first version though but uh, I think this deserves a really cool montage. Roll clip. There you go guys, that has been the video for today. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. Gotta love the superhero builds. These projects are definitely some of my favorites, so make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and find it entertaining, this laser, it's kind of powerful. Maybe if I decide to do a version two, we'll step it up uh, a little bit so I can burn through stuff a little bit more easily, but it definitely does give a really cool Green Lantern effect. Yeah, I'll link the lasers I use down below, but remember if you're gonna mess around with them, make sure to use your where my laser goggles at? Laser goggles. What are they at? Got them, we're good. So make sure to comment your ideas down below uh, or over on my Instagram. Cause I love hearing what you guys have to say. Also like and follow me on Instagram if you want any ideas to be featured in videos. Stats always fun. That is pretty much the end of this video guys. Another gadget from the movies brought to life by yours truly. That's why you should subscribe to this channel uh, to make sure you get notified when I upload new videos like this, bringing stuff from fiction to real life. That's what we do here on the J Laser Video channel. Pretty much all I've got to say for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Pound it.